Good day just for you, crew, and welcome to Domic Nation. Yes, we are home. I'm so happy to be home. It's always good to be home after uh, a travel, what are they, a, a business trip, as we call it. Uh, right now, I'm just moving all the footage. There's tons of footage i got to move over onto my other hard drives, get that drive empty, put it onto that drive. Um, there's my, my laptop is rusting. Louie and Sunny have got their beds. Let's show the beds. Oh, Louie. Oh, Sunny. And there's Sam. Welcome back. Welcome back, YouTubers. And Monkey 3 Ninja is in here. There he is. It's a Monkey 3. He's a monkey three. Meow. You gotta like start mixing with the rest of us. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. This is not, you're not gonna live here forever. Trust me. So, a pile of laundry to do. That's Megan's stuff. She's got a folder when she gets back from school. Uh, tonight, I have to go up to Barry. Tomorrow is a dance recital, but uh, she has three shows. So she has a Friday night show, a matinee, and then a Saturday night show. So I have to do DVD sales tonight, Saturday noon, and then shoot and do sales Friday or Saturday night. So uh, last night I was kind of freaking out that I had to shoot tonight, but I don't. Whew. Um, so when I go up and do my sales, I might bring up my laptop and edit more videos. I had to sit there for like two, three hours. And in that time, I could probably get another, uh, video done. I'm going to try really hard to put up without stressing myself out too much. I'll be able to do it. Let's put up every single video, every single day for the Chicago trip. I, I really wanted to do it when I was down there, but... When I vlog as much as I do, it takes forever to edit it for you guys and get it ready and upload it. And it just took all my time. I wanted to do a live show when I was down there. And uh, actually, I was going to do it Wednesday night. Because I had Thursday. No, Thursday night. So Thursday night when I got back to my hotel room uh, and I went over to the Portillo's and then I came back. Or Portillo's, sorry. And then I came back. Uh, I started doing the um, the vlog for the day, and it took me, I don't know, two to three hours to uh, edit it, export it, compress it, upload it, and I actually had to let it upload overnight because it was going to take like 300 stupid hours or something. So, uh, yeah, the, the internet was still slow, even though it was plugged into the wall. So, um, yeah, I got to get lots of stuff done. Um, yeah, I was, on, I was on a roll with that. Uh, yeah, so I was going to do a live show Thursday night, but because I was using up all the bandwidth that I could possibly use, there was no time for a live show. It would have been fun. Uh, maybe next time. Doing the vlogging every day and trying to get it out to you as quick on the same day is really, really difficult, when, especially when you're doing the travel vlogs. These ones are not as hard because I can keep them short if I want to. Travel vlogs, you can't keep short. You got to show them everything. Show them everything. Woo! So, it is nice warm, it is rainy, and uh, it's warm, humid, rainy, but uh, and, you know, of course cloudy, because it's rainy. Okay, I'm gonna get busy on this. I'm almost captured all my, f or moved all my stuff over. I'm compressing uh, yesterday's, um, oh, come on, Ken, get to it, get to it. There she is. So this is compressing all the bits and pieces from yesterday's vlog. Hopefully I'll get it out. I just realized the battery on this camera is almost dead because I used it all day yesterday. I haven't plugged it in yet. So I'm gonna plug this in and I'll vlog the rest of the day for you. All right, I'm heading up to Barrie. I'm gonna hit Lefroy, Lefroy first. Uh, I got my vlog done. I took forever. It was a long vlog, people. And then I had to quickly get my uh, Giordano's, Giordano's <laughs> pizzeria video edited and put up before I left. So 
it just finished compressing as, or sorry, just finished uploading as I was leaving. I had to make a list today. I have so many things on my brain. So I think number one on the list, or one thing on the way up there on my list is I gotta get, go to the uh, post office and let me shut the windows. It was just hot in here. There we go. So we gotta go to the post office and check on uh, Jeff's package that he sent to me from Australia that hopefully has the Vegemite chocolate bar in there and some other things. So and I'll have to put that last on my list of things to do. I'm gonna try and get your stuff. Uh, the other three packages I think that I have. I also have uh, the Reese peanut butter cup still I'm supposed to do as a challenge with Ben or whomever. And the uh, Hershey bar, uh, chocolate bar attempt. So I got a lot on my plate, no pun intended. So, I gotta go there. Um, I was gonna go to the bank if I had any things that I needed to drop off. I gotta get water, I gotta drop off my dry cleaning that's gotta get done, and that's pretty much it, but, oh, and then I gotta pick up two more DVD orders at the dance studio, and uh, there's a bunch of things in that little area, which is good. So the dance studio, the water, um, I don't think the, dry cleaners is there. There's one in Lafroy, but it's, or sorry, in Alcona, but it's all the way down into Alcona, and Alcona can be a real pain in the butt to get in and out of. So, we're off to Lafroy. Check the post office box. Cross your fingers, Jeff. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed, Mr. Oliver. Oh, I forgot my key. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm so mean. Look what we got, Jeff. I can't show you any other side of this box. Cause it's got stuff all over it. I think I already screwed up and showed it to you, so I'm gonna have to edit that out. Okay, dude, lock it. Let's get going. Okay. What side? Okay, I think we can put that side up. It cost poor Jeff 42 bucks. Australian money, which is like gold. Look at that. $42. Look at my address. <gasps> Don't show your address. Okay, people, let's start driving without my seatbelt on. Freak my mom out. <laughs> it's magic. Seatbelt's on, mom. No worries. All right, picked up my two DVD orders. Carol said she'd take my uh, shirts to go get laundered. Uh, tomorrow when she drops Ben off to work because I'm working with Megan all day long tomorrow. It's gonna be a long day tomorrow, man. Yikes. But it's the last recital of the season, which is good. So I'll feel good as soon as I'm walking out of there tomorrow night. But then I have two more to edit. Well, just got water. And it's just one of those days, you know? Go to get water. And uh, there isn't any parking spot anywhere close to the front of the store. And you're like, oh, really? I'm in a rush, I'm trying to get somewhere. And then, so I drove past, turned the car around. When I came back, somebody was pulling out and another person got the spot. So I had to park over here somewhere. No big deal. Take a big breath. <sighs> ah, exhale. Ah. <laughs> Take a big breath, and now scream! I'm gonna grab a coffee before I, I head to my next destination. I got a pocket full of pennies that were in the, um, the change thing that I was doing. And you know what, if I go this way, then I won't have to do like 18 U-turns. Left turns, I hate doing left turns, they're always a pain. 
Always turn right. Because that's right, the right thing to do. We're going for the bus. <laughs> so two of the things I'm going to do while I am doing DVD sales is I have to book our, our my LA trip for VidCon. I got to find the best inexpensive flight from here to, and I don't mind doing like a, a hop, um, what do they call it, a connecting flight? I don't mind that because then I can get really close to Anaheim if I fly into uh, John Wayne Airport, which is very close to the, to the Anaheim Convention Center. So I don't want to necessarily fly into LA and then drive for an hour and a half to two hours. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes. It's just that LA, of course, has the major traffic and all that. And then I also have to book the flight to um, Galveston, which there's a Galveston airport as well. And, or we can take a direct flight to Houston and then take a taxi or whatever from there to Galveston, which uh, the GameCon is covering the cost of that. Cause I'm, we're VIPs on that one. Dame drops is, drops is in me. It's gonna be a lot of fun, man. I can't wait. So I'm gonna try and do that tonight. Book those flights. Uh, I'm gonna hit the on route cause that's uh, more on route than what I was thinking. So this is an on route. It's got a Tim Hortons, A&W, Pizza Pizza, Market, free Wi-Fi, gas, everything a growing boy needs. I'm not gonna do the drive-thru, I wouldn't do that to uh, a person in a drive-thru and hand them as much change that is in my pocket. And like I said, it's all pennies. No, I've got about, I have 50 cents in pennies. I, I didn't wanna go too crazy. So, and I, will, I won't do it if there's a lot of people in line. felt so bad. The guy just looked at me like, I even like rolled, like kind of had the pennies lined up along my, in my hand. So it was like, they were like, it was almost like a perfectly rolled thing of pennies. But he kind of just put his hand out, handed it to him. And then he proceeded to wreck the stacking job that I did for him. And then he started counting them one at a time. So he was a young guy. I don't think he had much experience in counting pennies. <laughs> counting change in any form whatsoever. Anyway, guys, we're off. To, I don't know why I put my keys in my pocket. I love my Suzuki because you never have to worry about keys. Ugh, big breath. Well, guys, this is uh, one of the things. This is my little store that I set up. So I've got my order forms. I just finished processing all the order forms that the studio had collected. They've already done their intermission. They're doing the second half of their show. And I just basically wait until most of the parents have left. And then, uh, then I know for sure that nobody wants any more DVDs. And then I will package this all up for... Monday, I'll take the money to the bank, or tomorrow is actually Saturday, so I can take it to the bank tomorrow. Deposit it all and uh, buy a Ferrari. No, a little dinky car Ferrari, maybe. Um, yeah, so that's all I'm gonna vlog today after this. Whenever we do one of these things, we either usually end up going to Dairy Queen and grabbing a, a milkshake or something small or Blizzard, uh, but because I'm by myself today, I probably won't do that. It's usually I like treating Megan, Ben, or Carol, or all of us, depending on how many people help out. All right, guys, so if you had an awesome day, let me know in the comments below. All right, see ya.